let's now start on the best part on this of this free introductory course. We'll be going into the in-depth analysis ng comparison ng dalawa. Um, but first, with frequently asked questions, um, ito yung mga haka-haka at walang sagot ng mga Pinoy. Na pang US citizens lang daw, pang large investment amount daw, pang mayayaman lang, or pang experts lang daw sa field kasi di sila marunong, bagohan lang. Malaki daw yung pwedeng mawala sa puhunan nila at mahal daw, gumastos, masyado daw mahal. Pero ito ang sasagutin ko sa'yo, paisa-isa. So, um, meron akong itong um, meron akong kaibigan, pang ang pangalan niya si Mark na taga Manila. Na from a middle class family siya. He wants us paano siya makapag-invest sa Apple. Apple company. Kung andito siya sa Pilipinas daw, hindi naman daw siya US citizen. Gusto niya mag-invest kasi lalabas yung iPhone 5 noon. First, pwedeng mag-invest ang kahit sino kasi merong tax treaty ang US at Pinas na will let Filipinos or foreigners invest in the US stock market. Second, as little as 5,000 makakastart pesos, 5,000 pesos, makakastart ka na mag-invest. Let's check natin yung Microsoft kung magkano yung Microsoft ngayon. So, so, kung bibili ka ng Microsoft, it's $95. Um, check natin yung magkano yung $95 ngayon. $95. So, $4,854 as of uh, today. So, yan yung price para makabili ka ng Microsoft stock para magiging ang stockholder. So, pang, kaya, pang public talaga siya. At ang Filipino is kayang mag-invest. Tapos sabi niya, sabi ng friend ko, baka raw pang matalino lang investing. This is a co another common misconception about investing. Kaya andito ako as broker mo, and as a guide mo, I design the premium service as easy, concise, and beginner-friendly. Literal na manonood ka lang ng videos at your own pace. Hindi mo na kailangan pumunta sa seminars or pumunta sa malayo or mag-subscribe. Manonood ka lang sa YouTube playlist na ginawa ko para sa premium service para matutunan mo lahat. Then sabi niya, nasa field baka raw sa Philippine stock market, sa Philippine stock market muna daw siya. Kasi nagsisimula pa lang daw siya, bago pa lang. In reality, mas mataas ang risk of loss mo sa Philippines kaysa US dahilan sa lack of experts on the field. In marami pang scam sa Philippines. Inaab ano, um, I'm here para iabot ko yung kamay ko sa iyo para iahon ka sa mga scams at gustong mag-take advantage sa iyo. Kung ako sa iyo, kung mag-invest ka na lang, doon na tayo sa winner. And one last question, ano daw yung assurance sa akin kahit, you know, kahit kaibigan? Um, we will teach you, I will teach you how to invest and hindi kita ipapasubscribe sa akin. Tuturan lang kita kung paano to gawin at ako na rin mag-open ng account mo para hindi ka na pumunta sa US. Sabi ko sa kanya, ang premium service is designed para i-open ka ng brokerage account at para hindi kuhanin ng pera mo. I will teach you how to, how to invest. A personal brokerage account is much like an ordinary personal savings account. It will be na only named, it will only be named after you as an account holder. And you are the only person that can use it. Wala na akong access yan. Pero tuturuan kita pa paano mag-navigate, buy, sell, deposit, na withdraw. On the part of investing, lahat ng investment endeavor merong inherent risk. It all comes down 
sa pag-invest sa well-established company. Kapag may nagsabi sa iyo na sure 100% ang balik ng pera mo, times 3 or times 4, highly likely scam yun. Kung may ganun lang, kadali eh di sana lahat ng tao mayaman na, di ba? Um, lastly, this one on the number 5, sabi baka raw pang mayaman lang. With my vast experience of financial markets and uh, me as your broker, I will teach you and give you access kung papano mag-take advantage sa free mutual funds, free index funds sa US. And ako na rin mag-open ng brokerage account mo. We can maximize your money with lesser costs. So here's one way. Um, it, it, it's actually possible to trade stocks for free. Now, hindi ka na kailangan magbayad ng commission like sa Call Financial or mag-subscribe. It's actually totoo. I can help you with that. Um, it's just that you, you need to give time and then proceed with the premium course. Premium service, I mean. So, what I'm trying to say is that you can ride along with the best companies in the world. Without doing much studying and paying expensive fees, at itali kayo sa subscription fees. One-time payment lang ang premium service for a lifetime of knowledge. Filipinos can invest in the U.S. companies. As little as 5,000, you can be an investor. Premium course is designed to be easy. It's riskier in the Philippine market than the U.S. market and there are ways to invest for free. Okay? Gusto ko ituro sa inyo yung something na pang long run or pang long term. Ito ang tanong. How many became rich investing in the Philippine stock market or investments like Sun Life, VUL, mutual funds, insurance compared sa US companies? Yan ang, yan ang question ko sa iyo. I'll answer that later. To remind you, the fundamental reason prices move is because of supply and demand. More buyers than sellers, tataas ang value. More sellers than buyers, bababa ang value. If you and a trillion others around the world invest in Macdo, this will add value to Macdo. McDowell will then use your invested money for their projects such as additional branches, delivery of products to meet customer demands, and increase customers around the world. If then, customers um, reciprocated or replied favorably, and si Macdo is na, na achieve nila yung target profit nila for the year, Mas madaming papasok na pera pabalik sa Macdo, which translates in increase of value of stock or price of Macdo. Since nag-invest ka, since malit kang investor na ki, bumili ka ng one stock, na ki, kaya mo maki-ride along sa pagtaas ng value ng Macdo. Business efforts materialize usually in one business cycle which is one year. The hard truth is that uh, limited lang ang growth ng Philippines. Philippine companies. Most of the Philippine companies kaya lang nila kumita sa loob ng Philippines. Or sa loob ng Pinas. A quick example is Jollibee. Which if you will compare sa isang US company tulad ng Macdo, by 1,000 branches si um, Jollibee, tapos... 1,000 branches si Jollibee at may 123 additional branches pa siya. Pero si Makto is meron siyang 36,000 branches around the world. And this is over 101 countries. Makto serves 69 million people every day. Imagine, gaano kadami ang kinikita ng Makto compared sa Jollibee. My question to you as an investor, saan ka makikiride along? 
sa isa financial achievements ng company. Kung ako sa'yo, dun ka na sa winner kasi pinaghirapan mong pera yan eh. Here is the best part. These are the top Philippine performers sa Pinas. Let's assume we invested 150,000 5 years ago, okay? Kunyari may 150,000 ka before. 5 years ago. Um, so, sa mutual funds, nandiyan si BDO Prime Savers, time deposit. Okay? Nandiyan si Sun Life Prosperity Equity Fund. Nandiyan si First Metro Save Learning Equity Fund. Nandiyan si Philippine Equity PSE Index Fund. So, 5 years, 1.25 lang kinita mo sa 150 mo which is ang pinakamata sa 7.78% sa mutual fund and sa bank 11,000 lang ang kinita mo sa 150,000 na ininvest mo 5 years ago Kung mag-invest ka directly sa blue chip companies sa PLDT Jollibee SM Ayala 108 0.13% yung in-increase within 5 years. So, medyo okay na sa Ayala, di ba? Kasi yung 150,000 mo, nagka-plus 162,000, naging yung 150,000 mo, naging 312,000 pesos. Kapag nag-invest ka sa Ayala 5 years ago. So, you know, pwede na siguro. Meron ka na extra. Pero, kapag nag-invest ka sa US company, Disney, Amazon, Facebook, Nvidia, or Netflix. Alam mo naman na Netflix, meron ka yan, probably. A Netflix is nag-increase siya ng 800% 5 years ago. So, sa Netflix, yung 150,000 mo, kapag nag-invest ka ng noong 2012, 1,349,000 na ang 150,000 mo. Yan ang sinasabi ng self-made millionaire na actual na totoong naging millionaire na meron talagang pinakita. Na kaya mo maging milyonaryo kapag nag-invest ka sa US stock market. Hindi trading ha, hindi short-term trading. Sa Nvidia, ito yung Nvidia, ito yung chips na virtual reality, ng gaming, sa PC, sa Xbox, Facebook, Facebook, naka half a million ka na eh. Sa Indigen, naging naka 1 million ka na agad. Sa 150,000 mo, ito yung pag naglagay ka ng 150,000, 2,000, 2,000, tapos nakalimutan mo na. Nakiride along ka na, nagparty ka na ng within 5 years, nag-aral ka, or nag-ano. Pagkagising mo bigla, meron ka ng 1 million. What I'm just trying to say is, it, this will never happen sa Philippines. May makikita ka man dyan na magiging milyonaryo ka raw sa Philippine stock market, in-exaggerate lang yon para makakuha sila sa'yo ng fees. Mag-subscribe ka sa kanila. Sa totoo lang, if you tinanong mo, patingin po ng account nyo or patingin po ng, ang, ano nyo, ng historical gains nyo, sasabihin nila na Magrarason sila na for safety daw, baka kidnapin daw sila. Hindi naman talaga sila totoong mayaman. So, nakakatawa lang yung case na yun. But, uh, nasa US company ang totoong smart money at financial freedom. If you're going to invest your hard-earned survey savings, yung pinaghirapan mong ipunin, why not maximize its potential and invest with the best? Sa premium service, matututunan mo how to maximize the profits. It can even be 4 million or 5 million. By letting us teach you how Warren Buffett's investment plan is. The only obstacle that is stopping you right now for being rich and achieving financial freedom is the question, when are you going to start? Let me help you. Just to remind you, these are well-established companies sa Pinas. You can get way better returns by taking in charge sa iyong future at sa iyong pag-i-invest. 
And here, I'll show you. Top 10 U.S. Mutual Funds of 2017. Nasa Bloomberg View ako. Um, ito yung sa technology, 52%. It means, kapag naglagay ka ng 100,000, magiging 150,000 agad siya. Sa uh, around one year. Sa mutual funds to, ha, sa blue chip companies to. And pag naglagay ka ng 1 million, magkakaroon ka ng 1,500,000. Kasi 50% nga yun angat. Ito kapag nag-invest ka sa US. Sa Philippines, let's check, the, let's compare. Nasa 1pesos.com ako. So, top 10 mutual funds. Sa so, fill equity is 24.71%. So, United Funds sa Sun Life, 24.56%. So, kapag meron kang 10,000, after one year, uh, I mean, pag meron kang 100,000, to give you the same example, your 100,000 mo magiging 120,000. Kasi around 20% lang. Sa mutual fund, sa US, magiging 150,000. So, 30,000 yung kinita mo sana kung nag-invest ka lang sa tama at sa mabilis. Kung meron kang 1 million na in-invest, magiging 1 million and 200,000 kapag nag-invest ka sa top 1 mutual funds ng Pilipinas. Malaki yung difference nun kasi 300,000 ang kinita mo sana kapag nag-invest ka sa mutual funds sa US. So, sa Sun Life, ganun din. So, um, mag-ingat tayo sa market exaggeration na magiging 1 million, millionaryo ka na after 5 years. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maging millionaryo ka man sa kanila, magiging billionaire ka naman kung mag-invest ka sa US kasi it directly gives you the figure, 52% yung inangat, 40%, 30%. Sa so equity is 24% yung pinaka number 1 nila. Which is ito, 10. Yung pinaka mababa is 37% yung in-increase. Hindi man lang umabot sa number 1 mutual fund ng, ng Philippines. This is actual numbers ah. Hindi kayang ipakita ng scammers or pretenders na financial consultants to. I am your way to financial freedom. I know kasi na kayang-kaya mo to eh. I believe in you. I know na kayang-kaya mo to. It's just that you need proper and the right guidance.